The race for technological dominance has moved to outer space. While the world watches earthbound tensions, China is rapidly expanding one of the fastest growing military space networks. U.S. officials are raising concerns over its advanced satellite targeting, orbital interference tools, and seamless military integration. In this video, we reveal how China is reshaping the rules of space and why control of the skies may define future global security. China has quietly built one of the most powerful space surveillance networks on Earth, and it's growing faster than many expected. In just the last decade, Beijing has launched nearly 900 satellites, and by the end of 2024, more than 500 of them will be classified as ISR capable. This isn't just a numbers game. It's about precision, responsiveness, and reach. These space assets are the cornerstone of China's advanced targeting network. Using satellites to monitor land, sea, and air activity far beyond its borders, China can now track military assets across vast distances, particularly in the Indo-Pacific region. This is what U.S. officials describe as a maturing space-based targeting system. It allows for what's called over-the-horizon visibility, which essentially means being able to monitor and track potential threats or movements long before they get close. What makes this even more impactful is how these satellites close. That means satellites collect real-time information, relay it to command centers, and enable highly responsive targeting. U.S. Space Force Commander General Stephen Whiting called this development very concerning, not because of one satellite, but because of the interconnected constellation China now maintains overhead. Backing this up is a dramatic leap in imaging technology. Chinese researchers unveiled a satellite tracking camera that can reportedly achieve millimeter-level resolution from over 100 kilometers away. That kind of clarity from space is unprecedented. With it, China can reportedly identify and monitor specific platforms or installations with extreme accuracy, something that reshapes how surveillance is used strategically. General Anthony Masteler, head of the U.S. Space Forces in the Indo-Pacific, also emphasized that many of China's long-range systems depend entirely on space assets to function properly. The integration of these ISR satellites ensures that China's other systems, like unmanned platforms and precision systems, are backed by high-resolution, real-time intelligence. While China's satellite fleet is impressive in scale, what truly sets it apart is how those assets are being used, not just to observe, but to actively disrupt space-based infrastructure. China is accelerating the development of technologies capable of interfering with or disabling satellites through electronic jamming, cyber operations, directed energy, and advanced orbital maneuvers. Chinese systems have demonstrated the ability to jam satellite communications and GPS signals by overpowering the radio frequency links between satellites and their ground-based users. This kind of interference can interrupt navigation, sever drone control, and silence critical communication systems, even across wide regions. A more refined approach is spoofing, where false signals are transmitted to deceive GPS receivers, making them report incorrect locations, misdirecting platforms, or causing them to lose coordination entirely. Beyond that, reversible cyber attacks have become a growing threat. These operations target satellite command links, potentially locking out operators, corrupting data, or temporarily hijacking the satellite's functions without leaving permanent damage. Perhaps most significantly, China has invested heavily in a diverse range of anti-satellite, a SAT, technologies. These include direct ascent missiles capable of striking satellites in low Earth orbit and co-orbital platforms that can approach and potentially interfere with other satellites in space. Back in 2008, China showcased its ability to destroy a satellite with a missile launched from the ground, and more recent testing suggests this capability has continued to mature. In March 2025, U.S. officials observed Chinese satellites performing controlled formation flying indicating advanced maneuvering techniques that could enable close-range proximity operations with other orbiting systems. These movements may hint at future deployment of kinetic kill vehicles, non-explosive impact devices that neutralize targets using only high-speed collisions. At the same time, 
China is reportedly developing high-energy lasers capable of temporarily blinding optical sensors on satellites, offering a less destructive but still highly effective form of space denial. What makes these technologies particularly complex is their dual-use nature. The same systems used for inspection or servicing could be repurposed for interference, blurring the line between peaceful and aggressive intent. What separates China's approach from others isn't just technology. It's how that technology is woven directly into its broader military structure. This seamless integration between space-based capabilities and terrestrial forces is what gives China a major operational edge. Since the major military reorganization in 2016, China has placed a heavy emphasis on fusing space, cyber, and information domains into a single command infrastructure. The creation of the Strategic Support Force, USSF, was a turning point. This force was specifically designed to manage space operations, electronic warfare, and cyber strategies as interconnected disciplines, not separate branches. In April 2024, the USSF was further refined, splitting into three dedicated units, an aerospace force, a cyberspace army, and an information support division. This structure allows China to coordinate actions across domains, enabling real-time data, sharing, and fast decision-making that combine space intelligence with ground operations. For example, during a large-scale naval patrol, a Chinese satellite might monitor nearby foreign ships. That information could then be passed instantly to a command center, which relays it to missile platforms, aircraft, or electronic units, without delay or cross-service friction. Everything works as part of the same system. A precision strike guided by live satellite imagery is far more effective than one relying on outdated intelligence. A drone mission coordinated through encrypted satellite communication is less likely to be disrupted. A mobile missile launcher guided by real-time orbital surveillance can hit with higher confidence. This is the operational impact of integration. General Stephen Whiting has warned that China's use of space-enabled services has made its forces more lethal, more precise, and more far-ranging. And he's not just referring to theoretical models. These systems have already been used in joint military exercises across land, sea, and air, showing a readiness to scale up at any moment. Meanwhile, U.S. military space activities have often been compartmentalized. While still technologically advanced, the U.S. has struggled at times to fully integrate space operations with conventional forces in the way China now routinely does. This level of integration doesn't just streamline operations, it redefines how modern defense works. In China's model, satellites aren't just orbiting tools. They are mission-critical nodes in a vast, coordinated architecture, and that changes everything about how modern strategies are built. China's rapid progress in military space technology is reshaping global dynamics in real time. From its vast surveillance satellite network to advanced orbital disruption tools and seamless military integration, it's clear that space is no longer a distant frontier, it's a core domain of strategic influence. While other nations work to keep pace, China's focused investment and coordination are setting new standards for what's possible above Earth. The big question now isn't whether space will define future security, it's who will lead that transformation. And right now, the momentum is firmly orbiting in China's direction. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.